man is this? All right. Who died for me and set me free? What kind of man is this? Who died for me and set me free? All right. All right. 
Sister Florence Lachey, back in the day, Rise and Star, and our opening up song, Oh, What Love. Amen. Is the adult choir, Sister Dee Dee Williams, leading at Circle of Light. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Old Time Gospel Hour on Facebook Live Sunday morning program. This is the first Sunday, and it is also the first day of September. So we're going to have a sermon this morning, the last sermon of Reverend Smith. Good morning, Sister LaRonda Raybon. Good morning, good morning. Hope everybody is feeling well. And uh, if you're not, hope that you hear something this morning to help lift your spirits and help you feel better. 
Amen.
the inspirational choir sister Nalane Powell and first lady mother Phyllis Johnson leading at circle of light amen amen good morning sister Charlotte Cotton good morning good morning
Sister Carolyn Third Kill leading at Rising Star. Amen. Amen. Back in the day, back in the day. All right. Right here, I'm going to uh, read the announcements, then we'll have our hymn and our sermon. Amen. Uh, happy. We're going to start off with happy birthdays going out this week, the week of September the 1st through September the 8th. Amen. So happy birthdays 
going out Tuesday, September the 3rd, Sister Sabria Halsey and Sister Claire Brew. Thursday, September the 5th, Sister Tawana Graham. Saturday, September the 7th, Sister Margaret Roberts. And next Sunday, September the 8th, Sister Maudette Jefferson. Amen. We're sending prayers out to Brother Walter, Sister Audrey Griffin, Sister Regina Laddier, Sister Marilyn Stuckey, Sister Marjorie Hutchinson, Brother Pete Williams, Mother Barbara Keyes, Sister Gloria Arrington, Sister Grace Ann Brew, Sister Lula Robinson, Sister Marie Constanendes, Sister Emma Dyson, Sister Olivia Rucker, Sister Yasmin Arrington, Sister Vivian Johnson, Sister Phoenicia Hurden, Brother Mark Ward, Brother Anthony Page, Brother Brian and Sister Vanessa Tate, Sister Janita Anthony, Sister Brianna West, Sister Tracy Griffin Johnson, Brother Tyler Patton, Brother Bruce Thurkill, Vivian Daly, Brandon Taylor, Maurice Washington, Lester Peebles, Emmanuel Reed, Dorian Frazier, Miss Leanna Baker, Reveline Waters, Lou and Rosanna Grabo, all of the sick and confined, the homeless, the bereaved families. Also, we're praying for each other and this whole world. Delmar Gardens, North, 4401 Parker Road, Florissant, Missouri, 63033. Sister Olivia Rucker is in room 105. Sister Lula Robinson is in 104, and Brother Mark Ward is in room 415. Lots of Love Prayer Line Daily from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Call 1267-807-9526. The code is 554-189. 554189. This is sponsored by Light of the Sun Church, Pastor Gary Willis Sr., and First Lady Sister Melba Willis. Tune up your life and remember your mercy. Amen. Amen. All right, we are getting ready to have our hymn and go into our sermon. <laughs> to the grace of God, I don't know nobody. You ain't got no church, and I ain't got man. You ain't got no heaven, and I ain't got man. You ain't got no Holy Ghost, and I ain't got man. Well, I'll pet you. I'm going to tell you what thus said the Lord, and if you ain't right, you're on your way to hell. I don't care whose book you got your name on. Rise and star the head of us. Ha! 
sure how young you are, and I don't care how old you is. You don't get too young to do right. And you don't get too old to do right. And you are old, Crony. I'm so not sick of you. And I want you to know it. I'm sick of you. Sick to, to my stomach. One foot in the grave, and the other one ain't got no business out. And I got to be worrying with you trying to get you right. You ought to be ashamed of your damn yourself. You don't have to like it. You don't have to see me no more. I used to didn't know. Awful quiet. Now, I don't hear no brother saying nothing. <laughs> but that don't, make, don't matter with me. You wasn't saying nothing when I was begging mercy down there. You wasn't saying nothing when I come here in bad shape. You wasn't saying nothing. So why worry about what you're saying now? But the preacher, the man from God, heard my groan. You wasn't saying nothing. When you did say something, you were running me down. So what do I care about what you say and what you say? I don't need your friendship. Oh, help me. I know I'm just, I'm just sick of that. Disgrace in the church. Now, now, I was already bad off enough, then you have to put Reverend on. And that didn't help me a bit. That didn't do me no good. I'd rather not hurt you. It was all right. It put my mind on a flight. What that man gave his life. And we ain't doing none of it. Why, if it ain't you, I ain't talking about you. Mm -hmm. But who I'm talking about, they know who I'm talking about, because they did them. Mm -hmm. And they up here going away talking about I'm talking about you. No, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Different than talking about a person to him, ain't it? I'm talking to you. Pretend you with me. Now, it's quiet now. You can hear a chinks crawl across you. You ought to be up to your life, your act. Start at home, Kimmel. Oh, hell. Quiet night. The average woman. All she wants, she don't want a man right to have you when I say. She don't want him right. She wants him so he won't fight. Bring all his money home. And don't say nothing. To have him. I didn't say all of them now. I did not say all of them. I said have him. The average man don't want no white right wife. All he wants her to be my slave. Jump when I come, come when I call, and go when I say go. That's a man. Well, if he don't want to wipe him on a slave. But God didn't give you no slave. He said, help me. Oh, help me. You men, you go. I'm going to hit. Grimmin, I'm going to hit. I don't care who don't like me. But I ain't going to leave town. Have his woman, that's all she wants. The average man, that's all he wants. A slave. Oh, hell. <laughs> I know I'm in my trade, and I got my work to do. And I'm on my journey. Right, Buster? Right, this is right. Do you know this is what it takes for us to get started? To even get started. A husband and wife at the house have to start this thing. If it ain't there, what did you coming out here? That's right, Tony. That's right. Eh? Huh? Sure did it. But I told you right. And I ain't talking to no one, somebody. I'm talking to anybody got eyes to see and ears. Yeah. And you can't got a feeling to feel. That's right. I mean that. Straighten up everything. Feel him straighten up his house. Wait, you get right. No, oh, we always want to hide behind the right. She, she, she. God ain't calling for she. Amen. Calling for you. Hit the road. Amen. 
Oh, he wants to put up an excuse. Had in the bin. Ain't no excuse when you hit hell. Do you know that? You can't blame me. Y'all drop a pin. Get right here. Church, and let's go home. That right, David? What use anybody having any trouble with me and you, old as we is and ugly as we is? One foot in the grave, nothing overdue. And you can't. What do it take to satisfy you? Nothing but dying. I don't know. What do it take to satisfy you? Can't eat much, do you? To get college. Well, ain't nothing else you need but some sleep. You ain't the only one, man. You ain't know, back over here. What the young, 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 what the Thomas need? Nothing. What the Johnson need? Nothing. What this old man need? Nothing. What that old man need? Nothing. But somewhere to rest. <laughs> you ain't fooling me. I've been through you. Anything else? It's just you acting a fool. Anything else? It's just you acting fool. Somebody using you. I know I'm right, man. If David right here, this old and dolly gone. He let somebody use him. I'm gonna knock you in your head. Hey, what the devil you think anybody want with you? You had your last wife, huh? We look like a fool riding up with a girlfriend. Coming to church. Me and my, my girlfriend here, we is head snicking. Ugly. Stepping out out there. I wish I'd catch myself driving up here with a girlfriend. You hang me here. Yeah? Oh, yeah, hang me and carry me right to Arsenal Street. I mean, that's where I need to be. I should have been there. Ha! Mm. That you got, you don't need it. And she don't need you either. You're done for her because of what she used to do. That's what you ought to be doing. And you get yourself right. Huh? You young, but you can get right. You go get right, you get right, and you go get that wife that you led away from here. And I ain't playing. You cause her to be on that rampage. And I ain't scared to tell you. Nah. You tell her what the world the day people are too chicken to stand up for the truth. Scared somebody won't like me. They don't like you anyway. You can't love me, I don't want your life. If you can't love me, here's all I'm responsible to do. I love you. And I love you, that's what I'm telling you the truth. I love you, but I hate what you do. Ain't nothing wrong with you but that thing that got you. That you let have you. And Jeff, you're too old for that. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Some things don't straighten up in the next two weeks. We're going to take some, withdraw some fellowship from here. Is y'all listen? In two weeks, we're going to withdraw some fellowship. I'm a spoiled evening night. Mm -hmm. Jumping up here, bouncing around here, people knowing you ain't no know what. People around in the neighborhoods and all across town know you ain't nowhere. And come down here and see you. They ain't gonna be seeing you much longer. One of them ain't gonna be seeing you. Now, wait for me. I'm serious. I'm not playing and I'm not doing this to try to get back at nobody or try to run over nobody. But this is the church. Right, sir. Right. Yes, sir. You're right.
Everybody goes. That's right, and everybody goes. The Reverend used to say, everybody goes in the wagon cup. You don't want to be in the church, get on. Just get out of Christmas or you won't be messing up nobody else. See you crooked or me crooked, they think that's the way of life. People get converted, and first thing they run into here is a lot of junk. Nothing but a lot of lip. Oh, hell. Now, I'm going home and I'm going to sleep good. How about you? Ain't many people going to stay here. No, no, you don't like this place. <laughs> I don't blame you. Go wise never you can. But I'll tell you one thing, we got what you need. When you get through running, we got what you need. So we got the grace to go. Because we won't hope we don't stand for junk. This thing ain't done with mouth. It's done with deeds. Don't tell me I've seen too many people in this people here know it. They could get up about a half a gallon of beer and talk about God and know whose son he was and who was his daddy and who was his mother and all his kinfolk. And every now and then they take a sip of beer. And you know, we think that, you, we think, you know, we think we can go out here and do wrong and come back in here and talk about I'm God God. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, tell. I told you this morning. Didn't you hear me say this morning? This morning, you all, you all hear me this morning? When I say I'm right today, you all hear me say that? This morning when I came out, I said I'm right today. Right. And I'm right too. God has been talking to me about this all the week. Clean up this junk. Here yeah, two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I had a hole. And I hosed the building up, so there wasn't nothing left. And I was wondering why the carpet wasn't wet. And I'd wash till I got out on the street, and I was washing down that way, that hose, holding it down. First thing I saw, right after I got from being sick, a whole lot of filth in here. And I had a hose clean it up. Are you talking about filth? That's filled the mind. Human filth. Now, y'all want to start another program? <laughs> I'm going to wash out to you, young man, so people can be born to you. That's right. Clean out so people can be born to you. You clean house, God will send folks to be born again. You can't be born over a whole lot of junk. You know any church going to different from that, you know one I don't know nothing about. The church is clean. If you're in the church, you're clean too. Don't you strive in the beat. You know you ain't clean, you're fighting the beat. And who in here feel like they're so clean they don't need to be fighting? I don't know who. You feel like you're clean enough, you don't have to wash no more. Well, I'm cleaning house, man. Yeah, I know these shots I shoot hit go, it hits everywhere. They're hard, I know they're hard, Lionel. But that's all mama got for the baby. I got to tell you, like, ain't no use of me that going around here seeing you or nobody else on their way to hell and don't say nothing about it. I don't care if you get mad or if you turn inside out. That's your business. I know one thing, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't gonna run, I ain't gonna throw no rock and hide my hand. And I ain't gonna run out of here and jump in my car and sail off each. I'll be outside with the same thing. That's right, Keith. You've been knowing me a pretty good while. You ever seen me run? You ever heard of me running? From anything I do? No, no. I'm here to help you. And if I, you want me to help you, don't play with me. Ain't got no time to lose. Because I'm on my way home. Time is winding up. You ain't got no time to lose. Don't want to make it. Get off of this train and catch the next one. Amen. 
Okay, Lonnie. Can't go home with this beer. I know you ought to be up here. I done told you. Stay out and back there. Ain't nobody back there but stay back there all the time but crooks. And you stay back there. That makes me know you the crook. And everybody bum around with you is a crook. Lord, oh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. Much as the Lord done done for you. Kill done. I knowed you when you wasn't this no more than this And I ain't going to stand for it. You tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. You's a fool. I know what I'm seeing. I know what I'm seeing. You can't fool me. Because I've been everything you could be. I know when you call yourself slick and go off and set up and patch up lies and bring it to me, say, that's fixed and think I can't see through it. It's shot full of holes. Nothing rhymes. Makes the sense. You go out and fix it, lay up in the bed. See, I done did all this mess. Lay up in the bed and fix it so here's what I'm going to say. And you think I don't know that when I hear it? Prepared sermon. Yesterday, prepared. <laughs> huh? I ain't, you tell me, you tell people, yeah, that there's a man you can't prove, and yet you try. Now, what that make you read? Would go for Lonnie, go for you. Would go for Lonnie, would good for the goose, good for the gander. You working on yourself? All right, then. <coughs> you run lies. You run lies can mean much to the church. You're going to kill so many other lies. When you give your young life, that's why you asked you to come to me in the days of your youth. You ain't sacrificing nothing when you get old. You ain't sacrificing nothing when you get old. You get up there around 55 and 60 years old, you ain't sacrificing nothing. That's right, your life is already gone. All you do is just make out a number. And what you haven't done, you're too late. But you're too late to do anything but be saved. That's all. You can't influence nobody. And ain't nobody study. Not even your wife won't study. So if you done played around too long. Or your husband won't be studying the wife. Because you done played around too long. Hey. You mean you'll be back next Sunday? That's you going out of the state. Ain't you glad you come here before you left the city? Mm -hmm. Ain't you didn't get here soon? I am too. But you got here time in God's plan. Huh? I summed up your whole life. You know why? I have lived your life. And a man don't, ain't don't know nothing, can't teach nothing. I know where you at. I've been there. I ain't been this old all my life. I've been where you are. But you got to come where I am. The another thing, the next thing about it, I'm a simp, man. I wasn't, I'm not a wimp, man. That's another difference. You think to go away to what? Army? They're still government, right? But you are not going, they're sending you, right? Huh? And you've got to go for they say go, yeah? Huh? See the big little Now, if you were going, you could stop off anywhere. 
Now, you're there, and you got to send me, right? And do you know somebody where you're going has already got your number waiting on you? Already there. And where you? So you got a sender and you got a receiver. If you don't show up there on target, they're going to notify your sender that he didn't make it. It's just that simple. Church is the same way. Same day. Any time you can do what you want to do and come back when you get ready, don't you know you ain't in the church? You couldn't do that and call yourself in the army. They got a designated time for you to leave here. If you want to do well, you better leave. No matter how you want to stay, how long you'd like to go next week, they don't stand for that. God won't stand for it either. It's God's business. He's most stricken in Sam. Yeah, God's most stricken in old Sam. He's Sam's boss. And he's that strict. And you know how strict God is. He, but he said, kind of, the only thing different is Sam, Sam might put you in stockade or some other kind of punishment. But this other Sam, he'll put you in hell. And they put you in there, what you call God house or whatever, and so long and they'll let you out and give you another chance. But if you hit hell, you ain't got no another chance. We fail to understand that. We fail to believe that. Playing around. How do you know when God's going to call? And you expose in the street every day. Do you know people are getting killed every day? Driving in your life. Driving on your side of the street. Somebody come along and tell you all the peace and leave you dead. Well, then if you wasn't right, I'll stand the case with you and God. Look at all them people the other night up there having a ball in Kansas City. In a brand new building. And it is a call. Now, I know they're going to try to sue somebody, but the man that calls that is God. You can talk about the wheat building and all that contractor, but God calls that. Building ain't no more than that old caved-in walkway. One fell in on the other, and all both of them went down on the dance hall, dance floor. Don't you know you ought to thank God? I used to be on dance floor. Mm -hmm. And get to dance and so many of them on the floor, the whole house be shaking. Don't you know God could have let that house fell in and killed all of us and me in there? But he was good enough to not let it happen. But this day. Yeah, Joe's children was all dancing, didn't he? Wasn't he? It was all out there dancing. All his children. They done wrapped itself in a hurricane and smoted one corner of the house and killed every one of them at one time. Right. It could have happened to us. Right. God looked out for you and didn't let it happen. I don't know how many people, hundreds and some people, dead. 127 the last guy. And I think about that many or more injured. They don't use a point no thing up there in Kansas City. We just as bad off as Kansas City. <laughs> we say God is talking, but to, what you really mean is he's talking to somebody else. He ain't talking to me. Yeah, he's talking, but he's talking to you. But he's talking to me too. Now, do you all see and feel like a uh, rising? Out your seat. And then let go home and come back if you wanna. And if you don't do the next best thing. Amen. Amen. This uh that is the end of the sermon. That was the last sermon of Reverend Smith. Amen. Amen. I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, sermon this morning. If you didn't get a chance to hear the whole sermon, please make sure to go back and listen. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have a program this evening, 5.30 p.m. We'll have uh, new music, have some new music from Circle of Light. 
and some new old music from rising star so please please make sure to listen in amen amen and uh thank you so much for listening in and god bless <laughs>